it's one of the most fulfilling professions out there, but at the same time, the competition is fierce. Uh, nobody wants just a still photographer anymore, or just a videographer, or just an audio person. They want someone that can work cross-platform across all the different types of media. It's been pretty wild. L long hours, but it's been awesome. Like, I've met really cool people who I've never worked with before, and the people who are editing my stuff, although they might want to kill me, they've been so nice to me, and they just give me a lot of helpers and pointers and stuff like that. We're here for you. A finite period of time, 48 hours, Anything, anything that you need, question-wise, camera-wise, technical-wise, you have to ask. A weekend that's completely devoted to the craft they want to be outside of college. And the energy and passion that is displayed here is incredibly important for them to experience. There have been so many uh, light bulb moments where you just see this little light go up over their heads and it's like, they got it, like something just triggered in them that they have never known before. Emily did a really good job um, riding along with the police during a, basically a slow evening with the cops. We got a call for a car accident. I've shot photos of car accidents before. It's always just been fender bender things, and you pull up on 127. And and she really worked that scene well. She did. She got the person who was driving the car with the wrecked car in the background. It was a great spot news image that I even said, you know, she could have sold that to the local paper. It took me a long time to build my confidence and shoot in an instance where I was really uncomfortable. A short and intense learning experience like this uh, is very different from what we can provide in the classroom on a day-to-day -day basis. Plus, they get to interact with uh, really uh, first-class professionals from all over the country who are coming in, giving of their time, and uh, and giving some tough love. You know, some of the critiques I hear have been pretty hard. some wonderful people in this business. Uh, Canon came in with uh, uh, just an unbelievable amount of equipment for the students to use. Apple computers sent uh, 14 computers for us to use. Uh, providing a lot of this equipment is, is something that we feel like is a great benefit for the students, but at the same time, uh, we as manufacturers learn about how students are using the new technology that we're putting into the marketplace. Nice photography tip. Fill the frame, control the backgrounds. Don't move the bleeping camera. <laughs> Don't move the camera. Uh, it's a very practical piece of advice, being a still shooter and going into video, but it's something I've been hearing a lot. The community is so happy that Murfreesboro has been selected for this project and it has strengthened, I have already seen, it has bonded this community. The signs in town, the, all the different events that we, that we went to, everyone agreed to participate. What we have here is just something that's really quite special and, and I don't think it cannot be replicated in the classroom at all. It's really something that to, to have this kind of attention and intensity over one weekend is really what makes it such a special uh, workshop. Mm -hmm.